Welcome Earth Nerds, to another fascinating video in our series. Today, we're diving deep into the captivating world of hurricanes. Get ready to learn about how these massive storms are formed, how we measure their strength, their incredible power, the record-breaking storms, and even the key roles hurricane play for our planet. So buckle up and let's get started. So, how are hurricanes formed? Hurricanes are formed from tropical depressions, which are the initial stage of these powerful storms. When atmospheric conditions are favorable, tropical depressions can develop into tropical storms and eventually intensify into hurricanes. It all starts with warm ocean waters, typically above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. As the sun heats up the water, it evaporates and rises into the atmosphere, creating a low pressure area. As this warm, moist air continues to rise, it begins to rotate due to the Earth's rotation and the Coriolis effect. This rotation sets the stage for the formation of a tropical storm. As the storm system gains more energy and moisture, it begins to rotate faster and faster. For a tropical storm to escalate into a hurricane, sustained winds must reach or exceed 74 miles per hour. At this point, the storm becomes a formidable force with the potential for significant damage. There are three main parts to hurricanes. The eye, the eye wall, and the spiral rain bands. The first main part of a hurricane is the eye. The eye is the calm center of the storm, with clear skies and light winds. Here, the air is sinking and warming up, creating a peaceful break from the raging winds outside. The second main part of a hurricane is the eye wall. The eye wall is a huge band of thunderstorms that surrounds the eye and is the most dangerous part of the storm. Here, the winds can reach up to 200 miles per hour, and the rain can fall up to 4 inches per hour. The third main part of a hurricane is the spiral rain bands. These are the long, curved lines of thunderstorms that extend outward from the eye wall. These bands can be hundreds of miles long and contain heavy rain, strong winds, and tornadoes. Understanding these parts is crucial for staying safe during a hurricane. Hurricanes are classified based on their strength using the Saphir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale. This scale rates hurricanes on a scale of 1 to 5. Category 1 hurricanes have winds between 74 and 95 miles per hour, while Category 5 hurricanes have winds exceeding 157 miles per hour. The rating system helps us understand the potential for damage and the force these storms possess. Hurricanes can unleash incredible power and cause considerable devastation. Powerful winds, storm surges, and heavy rainfall can lead to flooding, property damage, and sadly, loss of life. It's vital to stay informed and follow evacuation orders to ensure your safety during these intense weather events. Now, Let's talk about the largest hurricane ever recorded. In 1980, Hurricane Allen broke records with its monstrous size and strength. This Atlantic hurricane reached Category 5 status and had hurricane force winds extending over 230 miles per hour. It made landfall near Brownsville, Texas on August 10, 1980. As the hurricane moved inland, it produced severe weather conditions. It was a formidable force of nature that left a lasting impact on those in its path. Despite their destructive power, hurricanes possess a certain mesmerizing beauty and play an important role in our planet's life cycle. They act as heat engines, transferring and distributing vast amounts of heat energy from the warm tropical ocean surfaces to the upper levels of the atmosphere, thereby influencing global weather patterns and circulation. Hurricanes serve as a reminder of the immense power and complexity of our planet's weather systems, leaving us humbled by the forces of nature. That just about wraps up our journey through the magnificent world of hurricanes. We've explored how these storms form, the rating system used to measure their strength, witness their incredible power, and even discovered what role they play for our planet. Remember, hurricanes are a natural part of our planet's cycle, and it's important to stay informed and prepared when they approach. Thanks for joining us on this thrilling educational journey. If you enjoyed learning about hurricanes, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming adventures. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of our incredible world.